Hello everyone, Cat Goblin or Martin here. Fall has now come, and soon those annoying hornets will freeze up. But today, I'm going to be reviewing all of the enemies in the Ant Bully video game. So without further ado, let's get into the review. Starting off with our basic enemy, we have the pill bugs. Now you're probably wondering, how can a pill bug be an enemy? All they do is eat vegetables and mind their own business. But ants do eat them, so maybe they're an enemy because you're working for the ants? Who knows, but this game makes them into an aggressive enemy. Anyways, if the pill bug spots you, it will growl at you, and then it will roll up into a ball shape. Once they're in ball shape, they will roll right at you. You can easily dodge them. They take away a quarter or half a ball of health. They come out of the ground when you go near their spawn area. If you climb up on something, they leave you alone, and they're pretty easy to take down. Once you hit them with your staff, they fall on their backs. You first encounter the pill bugs in the Catching Pupas mission. They can be found outside the Ant Mound in Unwanted Guests, the Cactus Garden in the Darkbow mission, and in Free Room they can be found in the Foraging Fields, Grassy Jungle, Caterpillar Fields, and in the Broken Glass Garden. The next enemy is the golden pill bug. Unlike the regular pill bug, when they roll up, they will be locked onto you, meaning that's hard to dodge them, because they can chase you while rolling. You first encounter them in the unwanted guests mission. They have a little bit more health and can be found in the same locations as the pill bug, except for they also appear on paths. Also in the grassy jungle, one golden pill bug can be seen turning invisible. <laughs> Next, we have the earwigs, probably the creepiest enemies in the whole game. When an earwig spots you, it will growl and then charge right at you. Once it gets close to you, it will pinch you with its tail. They can take away one ball of health. If you climb up on something, they will mock you by growling. Sometimes they can block. If you kill them on a slope, they will attempt to get up but fall back down, and they can pick fights with ant soldiers. Earwigs come out of burrows. When free roaming in the foraging fields, two of them come out of the ground instead of the burrows. In foraging the wild and lost ants, they can use their tails to kidnap lost young ants and steal sweet rings. When they do this, they make strange and creepy noises. Excellent work! At the end of the Glass Garden Scout mission, they target the flowers that Hova and Fugax are stuck on. Other than that, they're pretty easy to take down. You first encounter them in Foraging in the Wild. In Free Room, they can be located in the Foraging Fields, Grassy Jungle, Broken Glass Garden, Paths of the Cactus Garden, and they also appear in the Cactus Garden Darkbow mission. <laughs> I have no idea what kind of insects the predator bugs are, but all I know is that they harm caterpillars. You first encounter them in Critter Attack, where they latch onto the caterpillars and suck the life out of them, and they come out of the ground. These enemies will latch onto you and suck all of your health. Only two of them can latch onto you at a time. The only way to get them off is to power swing with your staff which kills them, or just roll which gets them off. The predator bugs will hop around to chase you. Before they latch onto you, they will take a second to prepare before jumping onto you. They don't do a lot of damage, and because of how small they are, they only have one health. In Free Roam, they can be located in the Caterpillar Fields, and they also appear in the Foraging Fields, Foraging the Wild Mission. Next, we have the Golden Predator Bugs. Really similar to the regular Predator Bug, except they don't latch onto you. When they jump onto you, they immediately do damage. You first encounter them in the Darkbow mission, 
In free roam, they can be found in the caterpillar fields and on paths. Again, they're really easy to take down. That was easy! Now, a really annoying insect that we can all agree on are mosquitoes, and there are two types of mosquitoes in this game. First, we have the ranged mosquitoes. These enemies will use their wings to hover in the air. When you get in the range, they will make this really weird noise. And then they will shoot you with weird pink bullets. But luckily, you can block their shots. Yeah, this game is kind of random. Okay, it's very random. But anyways, there are a few ways to take them out. First, you can lock onto the mosquito and then power swing your staff, which will let you jump in the air, hitting the mosquito. Second, you can shoot it with the larva silk squirter, which will force it to fall and then watch it fall in the water or just hit it with your staff. Third, you shoot it three times with the dart bow or fourth, you throw a seed bomb at it. The ranged mosquito is again another easy enemy. They can take away a quarter or half a ball of health. You first encounter them in the dart bow mission and in free roam, they can be found in the foraging fields, the pond, broken glass garden, the firecracker, the cactus garden, and they can even be found in the path to the spider's lair. Freeze! Second, we have the golden mosquitoes. Similar to the regular, except this one will hover around you. It will start to back up and shake, then it will use its proboscis and poke you. The good news is, when it pokes you, you don't get a huge mosquito bite. They can take away a quarter or half a ball of health. You first encounter them in the Dark Bow mission, and they can be located in the same places as the regular mosquito. For they also make an appearance in the grassy jungle. And you want to know an easier way to take them out? Just hold a seed bomb and it will fly right at it and explode. enemies in the game are the spiders. When I was younger, I used to be scared of these things, but now when replaying this game, they're kind of funny. First, we have the purple spider. When these spiders spot you, they will make a weird hissing noise, then will charge right at you. Once they get close, they violently strike you with their two front legs. Their first strike can take away two balls of health, and after that they just take away one ball of health. If you power strike them with your staff, they will fall on their backs. If you climb up on something, they will mock you by hissing. They can pick fights with ant soldiers, and they will quickly drop down from silk threads when you go near their spawn area. You first encounter them in Zox Challenge Mission, and in Free Roam, they can be located in Spider's Lair, Cactus Garden, Broken Glass Garden, One Path, and the Living Room. <laughs> Second, we have the orange spider. These spiders are ranged enemies. When they spot you, they will make a snorting sound and then will sneeze slash shoot a web at you, which will make you stuck. The only way to get unstuck is to move the joystick. If you get stuck, the spider will speed walk right up to you. Once it gets close, it will jump onto you, making a snorting noise. You can block their web shooting attacks by using your staff. These spiders only take away a quarter ball of health. They're really easy to take down. If you climb up on something, they will mock you by snorting. They slowly drop down on silk threads, and like the earwigs, if you kill them on some sort of slope, they will attempt to get back up. In some places, the orange spider only shoots you, but will not attack you. You first encounter them in Zox Challenge Mission, or if you explore the grassy jungle before you do that mission. In Free Roam, they can be located in the same places as the purple spider, but they also make an appearance in the grassy jungle. But overall, these spiders remind me of the spitting spider from Monster Bug Wars. Third, we have the spiderlings. These spiders can be found in spider eggs, but when you approach the eggs, they will move three times and two spiderlings will pop out. 
Spiderlings take away a quarter or a half a ball of health. They attack by launching themselves at you, and they only have one health. In order to prevent them from coming, you have to swing your staff at their eggs, which will kill them. You first encounter them in the Forging the Wild mission, and in Free Roam, they can be located in the Spider's Lair, Cactus Garden, Broken Glass Garden, and they can also be seen in the Living Room in the Sticky Situation mission. The Spiderlings can also be seen crawling in the Grassy Jungle and Broken Glass Garden, where they slowly crawl on the walls. While in the Spider's Lair, the Cactus Garden, and the Living Room, they crawl on the walls super fast. In the Living Room, the Spiderlings drop down on silk threads. Once they drop down, they will move their two front legs, and then will go right back up. Fourth, we have the Hanging Purple Spider. It's pretty much the purple spider, except for it drops down on a silk thread, making itself into an obstacle. Once this spider drops down, it will make a hissing noise, and when it hisses again, it will go back up. It has one health, so if you shoot it with the dart bow, it instantly dies. In missions, they can be found in Glass Garden Skill and Help Wanted. In the Free Roam, one is found in the Grassy Jungle, although one thing that doesn't make sense is that these spiders are hanging in the sky. Free! Last, we have the Black Widow Spider. This enemy is pretty much a mini-boss, but you see it a lot so I decided to add it in. These spiders will very slowly drop down from silk threads. They can pick fights with ant soldiers. If this spider spots you, it will scream, and if you climb up into something, it will mock you by screaming. Once it gets close to you, it will jump. This jump attack takes away two balls of health. When you get in front of it, it will use its two sharp legs to rapidly poke you, which takes away four balls of health. You can't harm this spider through the front, so in order to kill it, you can either rapidly throw seed bombs at it, rapidly shoot its abdomen with the dart bow, or swing your staff at its abdomen, and they're not that hard to take down. They also appear as red dots on the minimap. You first encounter them in Zox Challenge Mission. In Free Roam, they can be located in the Spider's Lair, Cactus Garden, the Broken Glass Garden, and one also appears in the Living Room in the Sticky Situation Mission. Also in the Broken Glass Garden, one Black Widow spider can be seen turning invisible, and when Lucas goes near the giant spider, he says, I'm even better than I thought! I'm even better than I thought! So yeah, all of the enemies in this game don't really make sense. I mean, when an earwig and a spider are right next to each other, you would think they would fight each other like in Monster Bug Wars, but they don't. Instead, every enemy in this game will team up against you. One thing is that when the spider drops down, you don't even see it on the ceiling, they just pop out of nowhere. In the Broken Glass Garden, there's a Black Widow spider surrounded by a bunch of mosquitoes, yet the spider does not eat them. Another weird thing is that the spider enemies work as a colony. In real life, spiders work alone, and in the living room, spiders patrol the whole area as guards. The last enemies in this game are the wasps. The first wasp type is the hornet. The reason why I call this one a hornet is because it's yellow and orange color. They only appear in the wasp battle mission where you have to shoot the wasps, or the larva silk squirters. The hornets will fly right at you. Once they get close to you, they will sting you, and their sting takes away one ball of health. In this mission, they can be seen flying all over the place, and they only have one health, so once you shoot them, they turn green and drop down to the ground. Ah! 
Next, we have the Purple Wasp. Again, they're only found in this mission, and their only goal is to capture the caterpillars. The Purple Wasp will try to fly away with the caterpillar, so just shoot it with the, your larva silk squirter. This wasp has two health, so the first time you shoot it, it will turn green. But in the end of the game, you actually team up with these wasps, and you get the red one, so that's pretty cool. Now, I've shown you all the enemies in the game, but sometimes there's a chance when the purple spider goes berserk. These berserk purple spiders will not hiss at you, but instead charge at you super fast, or they run around the area. But don't worry, the berserk purple spider is again pretty easy to take down. You know, kid. And that is all the enemies in the Ant Bully video game. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next review.